Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing one more example on small sample test type number 2 that is test for difference between means in which also dependent sample this will be our second example. Welcome back guys, so let us have a look on the given problem. 10 boys were given a test in statistics. So n is equal to 10 indicating small sample test data is given marks 1 marks 2 were given a test and their scores were recorded they were given a special month coaching and again their marks were recorded that means students are same can it be concluded that the students are benefited from coaching or not so basically guys the data is same sample is same students are same so let us start solving the problem step number one is null hypothesis simply you can write it down as h0 and as we discussed in this particular type we always take mu equal to 0 that means we do assume there is no change in step number 2 that is your alternate hypothesis that is h1 there are three options not equal to less or greater now in the given problem it is asked whether the students are benefited from coaching or not so tell me when will be the benefit obviously when the marks will increase then only benefit right so in alternate hypothesis it will be greater than zero we are assuming that there is an increase in the marks next step is step number three los if not mentioned we are going to assume it five percent and degree of freedom is n minus 1 so there are 10 students 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 what does this greater sign indicates one tailed or two tailed which tailed one tailed test and hope you remember in case of one tailed test small sample test los will become double that means we are taking los as 5 one tail test small sample test we're going to consider los as 10 percent so degree of freedom 9 like way lo is 10 percent that means this way we'll see this value in the table and that value will come out to be 1.833 so we are ready with this t alpha now our aim is to get the value of t now for that purpose I have already listed down data for you people marks 1 and marks 2. Now we know the formulas for t x bar minus mu upon s upon root of n minus 1. What is s? Root of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square upon n. What is summation of xi minus x bar the whole square upon n? Summation of di square minus summation di the whole square upon n. And what is di? xi minus x bar. So these are the series of steps that we need to follow to get the value of t and the problem is quite similar to the first problem of this particular type now friends if you remember your last question in which change in blood pressure was already given that means change was given but here in this case change is not given here the data is marks 2 and marks 1 that means we need to find it out change first for finding out I am subtracting marks 1 from marks 2 that means marks 2 minus marks 1 68 minus 70 minus 2 2 minus 4 73 minus 75 minus 2 minus 5 minus 12 12 17 minus 2 minus 3 so this is the value of xi now we know we're going to calculate di and the formula is xi minus x bar where this x bar is assumed so this x bar is assumed so i'm assuming x you can assume anything i'm assuming it to be 2 so xi minus 2 basically that means this line minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 will become minus 4 2 minus 2 0 minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 4 minus 7 minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14 12 minus 2 10 
17 minus 2 is 15, minus 2 minus 2 minus 4, minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. So, this is the value of di that we got. Let us find it out di square. That means square of di. Minus 4 square is 16, 0, 36, minus 4 square 16, minus 7 square is 49, minus 14 square 196, 100, 225, 16 and 25. Now the next is to get summation di and summation di square. That means I am going to add this to get summation di and add this to get summation di square. So after adding this, summation di we getting as minus 19 and summation di square we getting as 679. So we are ready with summation di, we are ready with summation di square. Let us find it out. Summation of xi minus x bar the whole square that is summation di square minus summation di the whole square upon n. Summation di square is 679 minus minus of 19 the whole square upon n. n is 10. So after solving you will getting 642.9. So this is the value of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square. Now let us find it out the value of s. s is root of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square upon n. So which is equal to root of 642.9 upon n. n means 10. So which is equal to 8.018. This is the value of s. Now the aim is to get value of t t is equal to x bar minus mu upon s upon root of n minus 1. In this equation, x bar is unknown and this x bar is actual. Actual means summation of x upon n. That means you need to add all the values of x. x means difference and going to divide by n. So after that, you will get this value as 0.1. So let us put in the formula of t mu is 0 upon s 8.018 upon root of n minus 1 so that is 9 so after solving this t is equal to 0 0.037 so let's see the last step of the problem that is your step number 5 and that is your conclusion part here in this case mod t that is 0 0.037 is less than t alpha because t alpha was 1.833 that means we are going to accept nh and reject ah. Now what does this exactly mean with respect to our problem that we are going to check. In null hypothesis we took mu is equal to 0 in alternate we took mu greater than 0 increase right benefited by coaching so we took mu greater than 0 except null hypothesis reject alternate hypothesis that means you accepting mu equal to 0 what does that mean mu equal to 0 means no change that means students are not benefited from coaching so that's it now we are done with dependent sample in the next videos we'll discuss independent sample of small sample test thank you